back to episode 10 of the uh, non-league to legend save obviously with gateshead now not bogner regis uh now since you've been gone uh where did we leave here we played the halifax game i believe that's what we played anyway that was a good result we then lost to torquay um we were unlucky there we were just as good as them we then played bromley comfortably beat them i was pretty happy with that Went away to York, they're top of the league, and we beat them 4-3. And there's me thinking, oh, yeah, we're we're set here. We're, we're looking good. We then went away to Hartlepool. Tough, tough game, um, but narrowly lost 1-0. This game was poor, very, very poor. Dover at home. They nicked one after a, literally 15, 20 seconds, and we were just chasing the game. And we were chasing it so much in the end that they ended up grabbing a second, so didn't really tell the story. Comfortable win against Wrexham at home. Uh, they, they're sort of down about 18th place, so we needed to beat them. And then away to Macclesfield, they're fighting for playoffs. And we we weren't the best team, but we were unlucky not to get something out of the game. Uh, so the two games we'll bring you today is Ebbsfleet away, very tough. They're looking to make the playoffs. And Geisley at home, they're rock bottom. So hopefully an easy three points there. So... In terms of the league standings, we're 15th, pretty much where we took over. We are safe now from relegation, so that's the main thing for this season, and we can build for next season. Um, so we have got, we didn't make any transfers. Um, they were all here when I got here, but we did get a youth intake, and this youth intake was pretty good. We, I mean, two players stood out, Tommy Ball, He's a striker. Three-star current ability, five-star potential. Looks all right. Um, he's played five and he's scored three because I think that's someone we're, we're struggling up top. Uh, we've got another striker. I think it's Johnson, but he's extremely average. Um, and as well as him, we got a winger. Now, where is he? Matt Mitchell. Two and a half star, five-star potential physicals are looking good um you know a lot of good things in the right places i wish, wish his crossing was a little bit better but again made four sub appearances one goal one assist not too bad at all uh there was more as well um but th the rest of them weren't as good sort of one star current potential at the moment so at the moment we are playing Evsfleet away and this is how we line up this is pretty much our strongest 11 at the moment. Um, so, oh, I've just noticed Lawrence Smith. Are we going to give him a run out? Ethan Cole's been all right for us. No, we're going to go Ethan Coleman. Um, so, th that's the lineup for today. Let's get into the game. And. To be completely honest, if we can nick a draw here, I think we've done pretty well. Uh, let's avenge what happened when we last played them. And, um, yeah, like I say, this is going to be a tough, tough game. Uh, goals aren't easy to come by for us at the minute. We're leaking a few. And it does worry me a little bit that our best players are our low knees, essentially. So uh, we might have to try and extend them for next season or... We'll try and find permanent replacements, but we all know what the money situation's like as well. There we go, first highlight. Ebsleet clear the ball long and they're going to get on the end of it. It's Nash. Good save from Montgomery. Still seeing a lot of that. Big lump balls over the top. We tend to play a higher line than most other teams in this division. Corner comes in away from the defender. Can we build? No, we can't. Wilson plays it into the feet of Coulson. Wing picks it up. Plays the ball down the line for Coulson. They're already looking the much better side here and they make it 1-0 within five minutes. The amount of early goals we've conceded already is, is shocking. It's bad. Um... But like I say, we're not going to get too too down about it because it's early days at the club. We desperately need to strengthen 
in some key areas. Um, like I say, goalkeeper, just the same as when we were at Bognor Regis, goalkeeper is our best player. You know, 22 minutes in. The next highlight. Defender wins the ball well. But we're losing that battle in the midfield. I tried a couple of different tactics and put a few extra men in that midfield, but it, it wasn't really working. Oh, God. Right, half time. It's been a very poor half. We haven't created anything at all. Um, that's assertive. I expect to see much better from you in the second half. If my mouse is acting up a little bit. I've got a wireless mouse and it keeps losing connection to the, uh, to the USB receiver, which is causing me a few issues, to be honest. No more issues than we're having on the pitch, though. So, the second half starts. This Vassell's been uh, been pretty good. He's been better going forward than he has uh, actually defending, to be fair. First highlight of the half. Looks like it's going to be Ebsfleet again. They've made us look pretty ordinary. Go on, Mitchell. Up you get. Uh, so the first game I've started him in, that Mitchell. Uh, my other winger hasn't actually been too bad. He hasn't done a lot, but he, you can just see on the ball he's definitely a lot better. Come on, let's win this back. Go on, get stuck in there. Close him. I just tend not to deal with things. Right, Ebsfleet free kick. Lumps it forward. And they keep picking up on all of them balls in the middle of the park. Ah, slightly better. Long ball forward to the youngster ball. He wins the header. But he's not going to get on the end of it. Just expecting a little bit more from a few players. A few big players that are sort of, you know, good for this division. You'd, you'd expect a, a little bit more. But there are some very strong teams in this league as well. Very strong. Proper League 2 clubs. Oh, my God. Every time I bring you guys a video, are we so poor? It's ridiculous. All right, Barrow launches it clear because he's not clever enough to deal with the actual instructions I'm giving them. Oh, my God. This is the worst game I've seen us play by far since I've taken over. Ebsfleet bring the ball forward. Yeah, it's a nothing ball. It's very easy for them. Very, very easy. Something's got to change. So let's, let's make a change. Uh, Ball has been average. Let's bring Johnson on, even though he's even more average. York as well. A little bit more uh, experience up there. I mean, there's, there's not a great deal we can do, really. We could try and firm up the middle of the park, try and win that battle, maybe. But here we go. Free kick, Barrow. Ooh, not a bad effort. I've got Gogic in goal. I remember having him on two or three saves that I've had. Good goalkeeper. Oh, oh, oh of course it's not a penalty. Every time the whistle blows in the box, the refs give a penalty on FM18, but never for us. Never, never. Right, let's try and change this up a bit. Let's get Coleman in here. Get him as our ball winning midfielder. Change him to an advanced playmaker on attack. We're already playing attack in football. Right, surprise, surprise, we've got an Ebbs Fleet attack. It's wing, plays it inside. Barrow clears it and finds York on the right hand side. What can you do? Played a nice ball over the top to Johnson. Good first touch, terrible second. Right, eight minutes left. We're going to go overload. Ebsfleet attack. Definitely an Ebsfleet attack. We won't turn it over and get an attack out of this ourselves. It's Walker. He'll cross it. Nash will get on the end of it. And he should have scored. 
Another highlight. Ball one easily in the middle of the park. That's a great challenge, though. Walker crosses the ball. No one there, but Coulson will pick up the pieces. Header clear. Can we, can we make something out of this? Not with Johnson about, we can't. He's a terrible, terrible striker. Essentially what we've done, we've taken over the, a team that's a league above, but they're about the same stamp as Bognor were in, in their league. So it, it's going to be a struggle, but it's a step up and um, we can pay a lot more wages. I've got people on sort of 13, 14, 1500 pound a week. Nash is in and he puts it wide. So, yeah, we've got the ability to offer a lot more money to players. We can attract better players, etc. So there's just a little bit more that I can do to improve the squad. Just at the moment, we're just seeing the season out, really. We've taken this team on and um, I can see why they were struggling, definitely. So if not happy with the performance, they seem pretty happy with that. OK, now I'm going to fast forward and we'll get into this second game, the last game of the season. Hopefully we can see the season off with a bit of a bang. And a bit of shocker news and just typical to my luck. Uh, Tommy Ball, the youngster, he's out for three to six months with a hip injury. So, fantastic. Right, last game of the season. This is how we line up. Completely unchanged apart from a couple... Uh, left back Romney Critchlow Noble comes in and Lawrence Smith uh, who, who was a gonna start the last game I'm gonna give him a go he hasn't featured for us yet um, and the injured forgot his name Tommy Ball goes out of the team and Danny Johnson comes in and Danny Johnson has I mean look nine goals in 33 appearances he's bang average at his job um, but like I say, this is the last game of the season. Let's get this one out of the way, wrap the season up, and that gives me a, a good bit of time to to work on putting a, a decent side together. They did not love the team talk. And I'm hopeful, I'm certainly not confident because I'm recording, I'm hopeful that we're going to win this... Um, pretty comfortably but we will have to see because I've had some pretty bad luck when it comes to recording videos 10 minutes in Geisley with the throw Geisley with the first chance Montgomery pats it away for a corner corner comes in from Watford he's found someone on the edge of the box away it goes can we break a decent ball out wide to the winger York gets inside his man finds Johnson at the far post but oh dear he's really really bad winners good lad Vassell it's poor though we never find anyone and that always happens Garrick terrible shot right next highlight Please be ours, please. Paul lays off to Gabriel. Gabriel plays a nice ball down the line to York. One touch beats his man. Can he find the cross? He can. Johnson near post, white far post. And he just tucks it away into the top corner. He's one of the players I'm looking to replace, to be completely fair. He's not very adept at his position. You see that nice ball played down. York, lovely touch. Nice second touch. Clipped ball. Johnson didn't bother. White did. And White gets on the end of it and makes it 1-0. And as we approach half time, it's gonna we're gonna go into the break 1-0 up. Not entirely deserved, but I don't think we deserve to be behind, but maybe 0-0 would be fair at this stage. But we don't care, we just want to win games. Right, passionate. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. That'll do. Second half gets underway. Hopefully we can go out there and uh, and strengthen our lead. We go highlight highlight ten minutes into the half. Milo Hall switches one out wide to the winger. That's a great ball. Decent cross. And that was hard as a miss, I'm pretty sure. 
Our stadium looks pretty nice. All the four corners are filled in. Only a 12,000 capacity. It looks like it holds more. But a de decent little stadium. If we can start to fill it, maybe we can start to chip away at the, uh, the obscene amount of debt that we're in. Okay, throw in. Critchlow Noble. Can he get a cross in? He can. York's underneath it. And that's an easy header and poor defending. But we will take it. We need some easy goals. We need to build morale. Morale's been up and down. But you can see here, Critchlow Noble. He gets it back. First time cross to the back post. York headers. Full back didn't even bother trying. But suits us. Geisley throw in. Go on, close him down. Close him. Get your runners. Okay, should be ours to get away now. Just nice easy one. Oh, goodness. We never play the easy ball, even though we're I instruct them to. Free header, decent save. And the goalkeeper actually wants to leave. He says that he wants to play in League Two. I've told him to give him give me a transfer window and see see who I'm going to bring in. And he said that he would. He agreed to it. So fingers crossed he's happy enough with the, the business that I do in the pre-season. Here we go with an attack here. Looks like it's going to be Geisley's attack. Garrick brings it forward. Finds Watford out wide to Hurst. Back inside to Perver. Over the top to Garrick. Decent touch. Four shot. Goalkeeper always had that one covered. Right, Danny Johnson, you've done absolutely nothing. We're going to give our other rubbish striker a chance. Um, we're going to swap wings and we're going to get our youngster Matt Mitchell on. Be nice to go and get another. Gabriel, long throw into the box, away from Watford. But we've still got it. Just a bow, and that's a red card. Oh dear, nothing's ever simple, is it? Second yellow for Hall. Off he goes. I'm going to drop White back into here. And he can do the job in there as it is. Back post, there it is, Preston. The bang average striker completes the route, 3-0. Into York, York with a lovely little clip ball far post. Preston climbs well. The Garzy defenders don't look like they want it. And uh, not a bad performance. I think we could have performed better, especially when you look at the stats. We've had six shots, three on target, and they've all gone in on another day against better opposition we probably wouldn't have scored um, but I think Geisley are pretty poor here we go good win nice come on Smith find your runner good right you go on finish uh. right Mitchell the youngster gets tackled but White gets it back plays it against their player and away come Geisley with the ball Substitute Usama running at the defence. Great ball across and a poor shot. Highlights are plenty at the minute as we play it out the back. O'Connor to Vassell. Tries to ping one up to Preston. Smith. Mitchell will get there. He's got the pace. Go on, Mitchell. Oh, nice cross again. He, uh, he's crossing like six but all his assists have come from really nice crosses and Preston with a double I'm, I'm quite impressed look at that, nice first touch took him a little bit away from goal but a great cross and Preston done enough 4-0 pretty happy, still only four on target and four goals come on, let's make it five 
We've looked better since going down to 10 men. All right, stick one on him. Stick one on him. Stick one on him. Miles wide. Referee indicates three minutes at a time. Hopefully that will just disappear pretty quickly. Looks like it's going to. But that's not a bad way to end the season, that. 4-0, clean sheet. And we build for next season. My aim for next season... I. Obviously, we all want promotion. We all want playoffs. I think some... Depending on how I strengthen and etc. I'd like to think sort of top 10. Just re-establish ourselves as a decent side in this division. And... Um, I think we'd be pretty happy. But if we can toy around the playoffs, you know, e even better. Passionate, very nice victory. Everyone seems happy. That's the best their uh, morale has been since I've taken over. So that is not too bad. So that's the season done. We'll see where we finished in the league. Probably 15th, I should imagine. Yeah, 15th. Uh... I mean, we were we were only sort of 11 points behind 8th place. I I think even the, with the team we'd have had, we would have probably been been looking at a top 10 finish anyway. So a good bit of strengthening for next season, and I think we'll be in a really really good position to to just push for promotion at least. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in a brand new season with Gateshead. And, uh, and hopefully, hopefully, League 2.